Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, we're going to create a simple JavaScript counter. So you'll see I have this count here of zero. When I increment the count, it will go up by one each time I press this button. And when I press the minus button here, this decrement button, it will go down by one. It can go to negative numbers if I want to, or it can go back up if I want to. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create a folder for our files. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call that uh, JS counter because we're going to have a JavaScript counter. I'll enter into that folder and we're going to have to create an HTML file. So let's create an index.html file. I'm going to enable emit mode for this document. And um, so we'll get started and we'll just create a general framework here for our HTML file and we'll call this uh, JS counter and we'll do our viewport tag here and we don't really need a description tag. We're going to have to link in a style sheet so I'm going to link a CSS file here and in our body, at the bottom of our body, we're going to want to have our JavaScript uh, file. So actually, I don't want to do that. I want to do script and then source. And there we go. And we're going to put this in a folder called JS, and we'll call this script.js. And I want to put this in a folder called CSS, and we'll keep it with style.css. And then we'll create a container. And then within the container, we'll create a row. Then within the row, we'll have uh, three columns, just like that. And we'll expand that out. The first column will have a plus. Uh, no, actually, the first column, sorry, will have a minus. Second, last column will have a plus. The middle column will leave blank. I'm going to give the ID of the first column decrement. Uh, I'm going to give the ID of the middle column counter, and I'm going to give the ID of the last column increment. Okay, and I'll save that. Um, after this, we can get rid of this and get rid of that. Leave that last line. Okay, and let's do a split here, and we'll open up a... Well, we're going to have to create... We're going to have to create the directory. So let me go back here and let's update this. So we've got our index and we've got our backup file. So I'm going to create um, a folder called JS and I'm going to create a folder called CSS. And we'll go into the CSS one and we'll create style.css. Okay. And let's just do uh, some basic style. So for a container, what we'll do is we'll have a max width of 800 pixels, margin left auto, and a margin right of auto as well. Okay, for our row, we'll have display of flex, and we'll justify our content to uh, space in uh, space between. That. Okay. All right. Uh, so now let's just take a look at what this looks like. So we'll go to our files, we'll go into the Linux files here, into JS counter, and let's open this up. And right now we've got this minus here and this plus here. You might not even be able to see them. Um, let's actually let's justify the content actually to the center. Let's go up here and align the items here to the center. And let's give each column here, let's give it uh, a font size of 3 rem and um, a margin of 10 pixels. Okay, and we'll bring that more, well, that'll more center things. Okay, so we'll refresh, and now we've got this minus here, this plus, and actually, you know, playing with this, let's we can make this even a little bit larger. We can do it like 30 pixels for the margin, and if we go back here, 
you know, we see them a little bit apart. And the number right here, we want to start that number with zero. So what I'm going to do is just open up the index.html file. So let's do that. We'll go up a directory. We'll open up the index.html, and we'll actually put the zero in right here. Okay. And we'll save it. And now if we open that and refresh, you see the zero on the counter right here. So we're starting with our styles. Um, for each of the columns, uh, what we should do is we should have um, a little bit different background color. So let me actually enable Emmet mode in here and I'll do BGC and expand it. So the background color, let's make it a little bit darker. Let's make it uh, E6, 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 which is a gray. Um, let's do a border of one pixel. Let's make it solid. And let's do a little bit darker gray, 808080, eight, 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 like that. Okay, and now let's refresh. I probably want to put some padding. So we want to put some padding on each of these. Okay, so we'll go down here and we'll give a padding of 10 pixels. Okay, and we'll save that and refresh. And okay, so maybe we'll want more padding on the sides. That's fine. We can do 10 pixels on the top. Let's do 20 pixels on the right, 10 pixels on the bottom, and then 20 pixels on the left. Okay, and let's resave that and refresh. Okay, so that's starting to look more button-like. We could do a few more things, but really for this video, I wanna just demonstrate this counter. And so now we've gotta to get to the JavaScript. So I'm going to um, go up and go into the JavaScript and create, uh, I'm going to create a script.js file, which is the one, what we wanna name it, okay? so. We've got three IDs in each of our classes. We've got the decrement, we got the counter, and the increment, okay? So I wanna create some global variables. I'm gonna say var, um, and we'll just do decrement equals document dot get element by ID, and we're going to get the ID of decrement. Okay, all right, and then we'll have fair uh, counter equals document dot get element by ID, and we will um, call that counter. Okay, and then we'll have fair increment equals document dot get element by ID, and we'll have that as the ID increment, okay? So we've declared those. We also want a variable um, for the count, I guess, and we'll set that equal to zero. All right, and um, so now what we'll do is we'll take our decrement, and what we'll do is we'll add an event listener and the event we're going to listen for is a click. And if we have a click, we're going to create an arrow function here. And what we're going to do within that arrow function is that we are going to take the count and subtract one from it. So we're just going to take the count variable and subtract one. I'm also going to turn JS2 mode on here. Okay. All right. Uh, so that looks okay. We're also going to take the increment and we're going to add an event listener uh, for a click. And we'll have another arrow function there. And within that, we'll just take the count and we'll add one to it. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back over here and what I'm going to do is just uh, delete this. So let's get rid of that one. 
save that. And then I'm going to go back over here and let's create a function that we're going to also call within here. Um, let's call this function current count. And we'll do that in camel case. And we're not going to pass in anything into the function. But what we're going to do in the current count is we're going to take the counter element and we're going to take the inner text of that and set it equal to the count. Okay, so the count, um, we're going to take the counter and then we're going to set the inner text equal to um, equal to the count variable. Okay, and that's going to be our function. We'll call this function once up at the start. So we're going to call current count once here to start it. But after each of these, we'll also call current count because that's going to update the current count. Okay. All right. So now we've created those. Let's refresh this and we got all the same. Let's open up our tools here. Uh, and we'll look at the console. We don't have any errors. Okay, so when we do click it, uh, the count increases. And we when we click the minus, it decreases. So our counter is working uh, just perfectly. So that's how you can create a simple JavaScript counter uh, using just HTML, CSS, and of course, JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.